What's up guys, it's GB Sydney from Motorsports here and welcome to The Sims 2! Yeah, so um, I decided since The Sims 4 is going to come out uh, pretty soon, like on September 2nd, uh, which is 19 days from now, I decided I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a The Sims series, a Sims series, a The Sims series, whatever works for you, Wh whichever sentence flows better for you. Um. But, anyway, so yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, well, two videos today. I'm gonna do two The Sims 2 videos, uh, today. And I'm gonna do ten The Sims 2 videos in all of them. I'm gonna do ten The Sims 3 videos, so that, you know, by the time, uh, by the time The Sims 4 drops, I can just go ahead and pick up that game, and I can do... 10 of those as well, so I'm going to have like 30 freaking The Sims videos overall uh, on my channel, and I hope you guys really enjoy, because it's going to be a challenge for me to make this game exciting, because for, uh, for those of you who don't know what it is, The Sims is basically, well, it's a strategic life simulation, hence The Sims. You play as you know, humanoid characters called The Sims. So what you do, uh, what, what you do is basically you live another life. That's all it is. You know, you uh, start out, you have to buy a house and then you have to uh, get a job to pay your rent and then you, and then you have to, uh, you have to maintain your body, you have to eat, you have to sleep, uh, you have to do all this. So, uh, it's not like, oh my god, it's so freaking exciting. It's, it's actually a very mellow game to play. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's really, really entertaining, though. It's really good. Just not in the same sense that like games like Skyrim or, you know, Mass Effect are. They're not the edge of your seat, sort of adrenaline pumping, massively fast-paced experiences, they're not that at all. They can be if you want them to be, you know, if, like, you know, you can make sort of like a soap opera sort of deal, uh, <laughs> sort of story. In fact, there are people who've actually made stories with the, with the Sims. Like, uh, there's one, I forget which one it was, I forget what the name of it was, but is the tale of these two homeless people is really, uh, really heartwarming and sad and all this. But anyway, so, I've created a family. I'm gonna put them in a lot for you guys to sort of uh, sit back and watch and enjoy as their story unfolds over three entire games. I have no idea what this is gonna turn out like. I really don't. I'm going into this just as blind as you guys are. The only thing I know is that the family's name is Johnson, and they're gonna start out in a, in a starter home. I do have a goal for them to get to a very specific house that I want them to live in, you know, by the end of this playthrough. Uh, but that may or may not come to fruition in 10 episodes, so we'll just have to sit back and see. I do have cheats enabled, I do have the cheats console enabled. Well, it comes in evil by default, so I don't know why I even said that, but, um, I'm, I, here is my promise to you that I am going to go through this entirely scot-free, without cheats, if at any point I have to use a cheat to do something aside from fix a glitch, then I'm going to throw that entire episode out and start from the beginning. That's my promise to you guys, alright? Because uh, say I try not to cheat in this in Skyrim, but I frequently do. So, yeah. Also, I hope you like my new glasses. They're gaming glasses. They're uh, Gunner Vapor Onyx. They're actually really cool. Uh, they help me stare at the screen for long periods of time without getting eye strain. So, yeah. Just really, really slick. Uh, so, we're playing in Pleasant View, as you can see, one of the default neighborhoods that the game ships with. And, uh, 
very, very nice looking place. I've, I've got a camera mod installed. I've got a shit ton of mods installed for this game. Over 4,000, <laughs> I believe. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun with some mods too, but I don't have any mods, you know, that really sort of break the game and make it, you know, make it just stupid. You know, it's just easy to, easy to do or whatever. But, yeah, while I do have the one that, that allows me to use debug cheats, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use that one. This is a really cool hand -like. Hey! Hey, you can turn invisible too! It's got, it's got, uh, it's got, it's got cloaking. It saw me looking at and it said, God is looking at me. I'm gonna cloak. <laughs> so yeah. So what are we going to use for home? For a home? Because I think we're gonna need something that's like 25 grand or less. I don't know. Let's check and see. Yeah, 25 grand. So we're gonna have to get a house. That, oh. Hmm. Well. <laughs> I I was testing to make sure everything would work, and I was going to install both of these houses, but during my test runs, only one would show up, like it would be either this one or that one, depending on which one I installed latest, and now that I'm recording, they're both showing up. So this is the starter house that I originally intended to have, 111 Daisy lane unfurnished by uh, Trisha uh, no, by Little Miss on Mod The Sims. Yeah, I've got a whole sort of list of things I want to go over during this uh, during during this uh, video because this isn't going to be commentary uh, sort of material, like continued commentary material uh, for a, a good bit. I mean there may be one or two instances where instances where it's gonna be like, hey that's awesome or hey you know whatever but so this is gonna be our starter home and it's uh, uh 10674 unfurnished too so we're gonna have a lot of money to you know left over to just go crazy with and our eventual home hopefully is going to be Conestoga Craftsman by I should turn this light on by Trisha Manley Trisha Manley so yeah let's uh, put this somewhere really awesome uh, where can we put Conestoga Craftsman I sort of think, feel like this is sort of a woodsy house so I think we could put it over here That'd be really awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. No? Ah, oh, come on. Alright! Uh, yeah, that looks... That actually looks... Really nice. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. I don't want to sp spend a whole bunch of time just clearing out trees. So... Yeah. 161,449 simoleons is... The amount that we have to have... To be able to... Uh, to be able to buy that house. Uh, so, have I paired my... Have I paired this place up with a shopping district? Yes, I have! Blue Water Village. The only shopping district you ever, ever need in The Sims 2. It's got, like, everything. And it's a cool little neighborhood as well, so... Uh, Johnson family. Mr. Don Johnson over there, the dude, and Eve Johnson, his wife. Uh, move Johnson family into this lot? Yeah, uh, yeah. Why not? And the cool thing about moving into an unfurnished house is, you know, you get to basically decide exactly what goes into this house. You know, how, you know, the, uh, the sort of layout. So we're gonna have to put some basic stuff down first. We're gonna have to put the living room, the TV, the kitchen, all of that stuff down. So it's it's up to us, and we can really sort of decorate within reason. That's the appeal behind unfurnished houses. In case you uh, ever sort of happen across one on Mod The Sims, because there are quite a few of them. I don't 
uh, download Unfurnished Houses all that much myself. Uh, in fact, this is the first one I've ever downloaded. But, yeah, so that's sort of the point behind it, is that customizable, that customizability, that, uh, that extendability, you know, it can really sort of suit whatever you want. If you want to uh, open up a store, for instance, you can do that. And, uh, but yeah, we've got 10 parts to get a ton of money. So it's going to be hard. 10, 15 minute parts. I don't know, we may extend the length of each individual part so that, uh, you know, so that, uh, so that we can sort of fit into a window, you know, fit into that window. All right, so thank you, Taxi. Uh, thank you, Mike, for being there. So here we are, uh, the uh, 111 Daisy Lane. Yeah, I completely forgot the name of the house, so forgive me. Okay, so it looks like we've got sort of preordained areas. We've got the uh, living room here. We've got secondary uh, bedroom, uh, guest bedroom. Maybe, uh, master bed there in the kitchen. Uh, open concept kitchen. That's really nice. Whew. And plenty of room for a car. I really wish we had a study, though. That would be awesome if we had a study. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and... We've got plenty of money, but I just don't know how we can sort of spend it out. So let's go ahead and get a bed here. Let's go ahead and get our home started. You are three thousand dollars. We need, we also need a car though. That's the thing, and cars are expensive, obviously. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> oh, go. I think. Oh, what's the comfort rating? Because it doesn't really matter. The uh, aesthetics just... Ooh. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. I... We could, we could start with that. I mean, that's... That's an option. As uh, 450 simoleons leaves us with plenty of money to do other things. So I want sort of like a... Ah. Uh, no, not that. I want sort of a light brown bed thing here. That is <laughs> what is this? It looks like a freaking... Ah, uh, how? Oh. That is nothing short of offensive. No, we are not going with that. We are not going with that at all. Uh, okay. No, menu. Could you please work with me? Um, hmm. What do you guys think? Oh! Yeah, that actually works pretty good. I do like that. Sort of reddish brown. That that actually works a lot better than I anticipate. Hold on. Uh, are there any sort of... Uh, let's see. No, that's the best bed frame we're going to get there. Now, in tables... Good lord. 13... Uh, I said this was going to be 15 minutes. Yeah, we're already at 14 minutes. So, uh, yeah. I don't think the four, the 15 minute thing is going to come to fruition, just to be plainly honest with you. I think we're going to have to do at least 20 minutes, maybe 25 this part, just to get things sort of kicked off. Um, these end tables look really nice in there. I do like that. I do like that. And then we can eye drop you. Yep, and get some fancy, uh, uh, get some fancy sort of lights going on. What do we have as far as lights? Mountain Man's Mountain Lighter. Yeah, uh, no, 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 no. Um, hmm. It's kind of hard to decide. Elastra lamp. I actually like that lamp. It's cheap and it looks good in most scenarios, so we're just gonna go with that. Um, 
Bookshelves! We need bookshelves to s level off what category? Here we go. Uh, let's see. The skill, brother. Um, bibliophile bookcase. The bibliophile bookcase is a real space saver for book lovers made of recycled press board. Yeah, good luck moving that. I hate press board. I hate press board with a passion. It's so heavy. It's so fragile. It's so hard to move. Uh, but this press board comes with books. So that's, uh, that, that has something, some redeeming quality to it. Uh, and what else do we need? I think, yeah, we've got 13,092 credits. We can go basically ape with the amount of money we have now. We can afford a lot of nice stuff. Uh, so, I think we should go with a fairly fancy desk. Desk, not dining table. Uh, desk tube nation by Modulin. Now let's go with this, because this actually sort of fits in with the room. And I really do like that sort of look, so e yeah. And just have you turned around there. Computers, I already know. I already know what I want for computers. I want a Texas Instruments TI-99 4A by, uh, I don't know, I forget his name, I really, this, uh, I really, f gosh dang it, um, this guy, I forget his name, his name will be in the description, he does, he did all these awesome freaking sort of retro computer mods for The Sims 2, I like a bunch of them, I've got all of them in fact, except for one, which is KKI Industries Gaming PC, but, yeah, and by the way, another reason I want to go with the Texas Instruments TI-99 4A... I have one! <laughs> They're really awesome. Like, they are really awesome uh, retro computers. This one is a... Uh... Is a 19... I don't know. They're made... Uh... This is a 1981. So, yeah. 1981 Texas Instruments TI-99 4A. If you're looking to get into retro computing, that's a great place to start. They play games like a boss. They're also the first ever, well, the TI-99 4, their predecessor, the first ever 16-bit computer. And they just freaking play old games like no one's business. I've got a few of them on that shelf over there, in fact. Uh... And they're just really, just really awesome computers, like, in general. If you're rich, then you can get the peripheral expansion box, which is this thing over here, and it adds support for floppies and stuff, but... What, what am I talking about? Uh, am I talking about uh, old computers? The Texas Instruments TN-89 4A, or The Sims 2? Um, yeah, by the way, this, this, and this are all mods. So, yeah, there is that. Um, hmm. I think we're pretty much done in here. We could add... Why don't we just add, like, a... No, no, no. Let's not do that. In fact, it's getting close to 20 minutes, so I think I'll go ahead and end this part here, and then go ahead and then, uh, finish building the house. And then once I'm done, I'll come back, start the other part, and, uh, and show you guys what all I've done so yeah if you uh, so yeah if you like this video then go ahead and bitch slap that like button and if you really really liked them um, uh, if you really really like this video and you want to see more hit that subscribe button maybe that favorite button it really helps me out and I've been GP you've been awesome I'll see you guys in the next video GP 75 out